Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, start the process of building a defense station here at the Xenon Gate in Hatikva's Choice 1. Um, I considered actually going into Tharkas Cascade itself and blockading this system, but the problem with Tharkas Cascade 15 is that it's got a hazardous environment where basically your shields don't recharge, uh, which uh, would make fighting in there not good. Um, the advantage of, of doing that, however, would then be that this passage through here would essentially be safe for all ships to travel through. But... I don't know, man. That's it. I have to think about that some more. Because if we can't have our shields recharging, I mean, the Xenon suffer from it too. You can see that several of our ships are pretty much without shields or very low, but I just think we would take a lot of losses if we if we tried to fight in this system. Um. So, yeah, I, I, that's, I guess another way of putting it is I think that that's biting off a little more than we can chew at this point in time. Um, so what we're going to do is head over to Hatikva's Choice and set up a blockade and then get started with building our defense station. Um, so I have my fleet uh, over here in Silent Witness. And uh, basically what we have here is uh, the Odysseus is the flagship. And then I have all my... Corvettes and my frigate or my medium ships and my rattlesnake in alpha group currently on defense but I'm going to give them specific assignments my heavy fighters I have a beta group of heavy fighters and I have a gamma group of heavy fighters the Ares ships are outfitted with two plasma cannons and two burst rays so these guys are going to kind of function more like, you know, when a K comes in, go out and, and quickly take out the surface elements in it. Uh, whereas these guys are going to be more of our main attack force that we will direct as needed. All of my normal fighters are in Delta group and they're on intercept and that's pretty much going to be their job. And then in Kappa, I have our builder and I have our freighter. Our freighter is filled with energy cells, hull parts, and claytronics. And I also have uh, a few station haulers here. Um, this one's getting shield components. This one's getting field coils. That one's getting advanced electronics. And that one's getting turret components. Um, and they are going to... Uh, I have them set to... Well, one of them's already here. To just dock at these two stations and wait until the coast is clear. And then I'll bring them in as well because we're going to need those components in addition to the three main components okay so with that being said let's go ahead and get started with this um so i am currently on the bridge of the odysseus and we are going to head on over to have dick of choice one and see if we can secure the gate area so that we can bring in the other ships to do their thing. Um, as far as my turrets here, I've got my two uh, uh, left and right plasma turrets, which are my front turrets, uh, turrets rather, to attack my enemy, and then all of the other turrets are set to attack enemies in general. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's get on over there and see what happens. This should be pretty exciting. A couple other things I'll mention too is um, I went ahead and purchased the blueprints, field coil, shield components. Well, those two in particular, but some other ones too. Um, so that I can start manufacturing those things myself because we'll probably be setting up several of these defense uh, stations as time goes on. And so I want to be able to just produce what I need to do that. But I haven't actually uh, set those modules up yet on the station, so we'll do that later. We'll see how this first one goes. 
Okay, so we have a, a group of Xenon on this side of the gate and our interceptors are going after them. Let's, uh, let's do a pause here. And I want to, let's have our beta group Uh, also go in and mop the floor with these guys. So I'm going to have you guys attack targets in range. Oh, okay, that works too, I suppose. Yeah, let's... I was going to actually do more of the attack in a given area, but this will work too. And, you know, for that matter, we might as well send in the Ares too. There's no reason not to. So let's also have you do attack targets in range. Okay. And these guys should pretty much mop the floor with these bad dudes quickly. got this one f fighter over here that our Falcon's going after. And then this fighter here, the Nodan, for some reason retreated, but should be going back after these guys. So yeah, they're just about done. It doesn't appear that any of our fighters have lost their shields, so that's great. That means they'll they'll come on back and be fine. You're in trouble now. What's in orders? Okay, good. So that went very well. Everybody, come on back. Awaiting orders. I just want to fire my guns once so they get lined up with the sight instead of the mouse. Yep, nobody... The hole on my scout there is a down a little bit, but otherwise, yeah, he's he's actually docked on this ship, anyways. Lots of stuff dropped there, but we're not really going to focus on that too much right now. What we might do is assign a ship or two to pick up uh, you know, to pick up loot. After the defense station set up. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Entering system. I take boss choice. Okay, so let's turn this way. And we want to set up approximately 10 kilometers out from the, the gate here. Jump gate. Cascade. Okay, let's do a quick pause and just assess the situation. So, yeah, we've got... We've got all these guys here. Um, so let's once again have the heavy fighters deal with them. Um, attack targets in range. Ares, same thing. Actually, no, I'm going to move the Ares closer into the gate. For the moment. 
and then the small fighters will just automatically start attacking as soon as they get through the gate because uh, they're already on intercept and here they come right now okay and we will just move towards the gate and see how things go Let's take a quick assessment of what's going on here. Actually, we don't need to pause at this point. Xenon are pretty much getting wrecked. All right, let's see how close we are. We're 25 clicks out from the gate. Striking. Orders. Okay, so we're 12 kilometers out. Let's go ahead and move down a little lower here. And I think we're gonna go ahead and stop right here and exactly 10 kilometers out. Okay. All right, let's take a look and see. Had a couple of peas go through, but they're Pretty much smoke. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to have the heavy fighters. Uh, we're going to have them do a protect area. Oh, do we not have that current role, remove assignment, default behavior? I, I want to put them on protect area, but it doesn't look like it lets me do that when they're in a wing like this. So we might need to assign them. Let's do this. Let's assign them to the rattlesnake. Uh, and we'll put them on intercept. Okay, now the rattlesnake, we're gonna have to remove. So it's its own fleet. And then we're gonna tell it to protect position pretty much right in front of the gate here and let's say let's make it like a 20 kilometer area now that's even larger than it needs to be let's make it a, a 15 kilometer area yeah that's probably good so those guys will basically the rattlesnake and the heavy fighters were basically going to just destroy everything that comes through there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other three, or uh, well, no, I'm going to put the three Corvettes on Protect the Builder. So defend the builder uh, because we'll, you know the builder's going to be getting in here and start start to build here pretty soon. We'll keep the lighter fighters on intercept, and I think we'll just keep the Ares fighters. Well, you know what? Actually, let's assign the Ares also to the rattlesnake, but in a different groups. We'll have them on intercept too, but what I'm gonna do is when a K comes through the gate, I will have these guys specifically attack the surface elements on the K because they have the the burst rates. Okay. 
The other thing too, you know, is because I got these satellites up here. We can we can see. I mean, there is a K right on the other side of the gate, so he's probably gonna be coming through here, uh, I guess. And then there's another K too, so. I would expect both of those guys to come through at some point. Hopefully not at exactly the same time, though. <laughs> so, all right. So we got, I think we're set up. You know what? I got to turn that music down. This is really loud. Uh, let's go to settings. Sound settings. I love the music in this game, but it's just a bit loud and I need to think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to go to manage plots, create new plot. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we want this to be actually more like right over where the Odysseus is. Right about there is good. Uh, we're going to probably have to move down a little bit, too. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Um, oh, did I pay for that? I didn't. Uh, buy license. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's right about the position I want it to be in. So, let's go ahead and move this ship down lower because it's right in the middle of where we want to build. I am trying to be very mindful of when a K comes through here. I'm not really worried about the other ships so much. Okay, so we're right at the bottom of this now. So I think we're good. Now, let's take a quick look at Do a quick reconnoiter. Oh shit, where is that other K at? Did it come through already? I don't think it did. How did this get twisted? Oh, okay, right mouse straightens it. There we go, okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to start with a dock. Uh, we're just going to use a basic dock. Um, the design I'm going to use here is uh, just a basic cross design. Um, and it's... Oh, no. How did you get over there? Get in here. Doesn't have to be perfectly in the center, but close enough. Okay. I think that's good. So that's the dock. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go to defense modules. And we're going to do a disc there. A disc there. One there and one here. Then we're going to attach that one there, except for that with this one we're going to turn vertical. Awaiting orders. And we want to make sure it's right. At zero degrees. Shh. Oh crap! Undo that. It's not what I meant to do. It doesn't seem like it's right where it needs to be. Oh, you know what? I don't think this. I don't think the station itself is actually level. Not with the gate, anyway. 
Alright. Undo all this. In fact, we should probably... Yeah, let's just discard these changes. I gotta see what's going on, because... If a K is coming through, I need to direct that fight. What the hell is my builder doing way over there? I want him to... orders and assignments and just come over here and park like right here likewise with the freighter remove assignment and you just park next to him okay so these guys are just dealing with small ships right now let's take a, another look up into Tharkas here and see if there's any K's on their way the one that was over here, it must have flown off into the fog of war. Okay, let's try this again. So, I take this choice factory. I will rename it after that, but I'm not worried about that right at the moment. Plan built. Okay, so it's pretty close to straight on with the gate. So let's go with the dock module. I'm just gonna place it there for the moment. Um, and I want to make sure that it's level, which it looks like it is. In fact, it's probably just fine right there. Maybe we'll move it back this way just a smidge. Okay, good. Defense module. Disc. Disc. Disc and disc. Okay, let's once again double check it, make sure that it's level. Uh, which it is. Alright, now another disc here. But then we take... And turn it 90 degrees this way. right okay good now what we're gonna do is copy module copy module copy module copy module okay there we go all right now Next thing we're going to do is we're going to confirm these module changes. Assign this builder. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm going to give it the money so because I don't care if uh, mind if NPC ships come in and help us with this too but the next thing now is here let's get out of this menu and I'm gonna do a quick save right here too by the way okay now I want the freighter Awaiting orders. to trade wares with build storage and Give it all your claytronics, all your energy cells, and all your hull parts. Okay. Um, now. Requesting permission to dump. We dump have these guys here. You have shield components. Transfer wares with build storage. Orders. Shield components. Transfer wares, field coils, transfer wares, uh, 
advanced electronics and transfer wares turret components okay so we'll let those guys come in and do their thing and then we'll kind of see where we're at after that We could even even temporarily assign a manager to this station so we can actually assign ships to the build storage uh, if we wanted to do that. So if we go, yeah, let's go here. Let's look and see what we have for managers. All right, I, I want a service crew. Yeah, let's take this station hauler service crew, dude. And I want you to work somewhere else for me. I want you to work in Hatikva's Choice Factory. Oh, you know what? Can I... Mm, doesn't look like I, I can do that until it's built. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. He's got to have an office. Why the hell are you over here? I told him to... Uh, what? I told him to park over here. I don't know why he's over there. He must have some other default order. I don't remember giving him a default order, though. Uh, where are you at? Builder 1. Oh, wait. I'm still in the... Assign manager menu. Do you have a default order? You don't. You have a hold position order. I don't know why he went back through that gate, but... Oh, well. He's on his way back, so I guess we're good. And this freighter is just kind of, I guess, waiting for the build storage to finish so it can drop its stuff off, I'm assuming. Okay, so now we just kind of wait for a bit. And keep our eye on this sector to see if a K is going to come through. All right. I want to move in a little closer, too, because I got further back than I intended to. So let's just kind of get in front here. I don't want to get, like, right up against the gate either, though. I'd like to be able to take advantage of the range of this and if I'm right up in the face of a K then that's not going to help so much honestly though we have so many ships here that it might we might be further ahead just to tell everybody to blitz a K and just take it out quickly that's just a P right I'm assuming third person view so we can see what's going on a little bit better. All right, let's go into our map view. Why is our builder hanging out back here? Deploy to station to take this choice. He's just sitting there. Why the hell is he just sitting there? I don't know. You know what we're going to do then? The... You. I just want you to hold position. Um, I'm going to teleport over and drive him over myself because I, I don't know why he's just sitting there. It could be because there's too much stuff in the way, maybe? I don't know. If I get him over there and he still doesn't do anything, you know, then I'm going to assume maybe that's what's going on. He might he, he might just not he, be able to do what he needs to do because we've got all those ships over there. That's possible, but I don't know yet. 
We'll get him over there and we'll see what happens. Not exactly sure what position he wants or needs to be in. But let's just kind of bring him right underneath the freighter and then we'll see what he does. Okay, so we're going to stop here. We're going to get out of the pilot seat, let the pilot take back over. You coming? It's kind of a long walk. This is a huge ship. <laughs> it's very big. Very big ship. Okay, so let's go into here. Uh, you don't need a signal. So do your thing. Is the freighter unloaded? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Here, let me pause the game for a second. Too many things to try and think about at once. I know it's... I'm not a professional fleet manager. <laughs> I, I got to pause the game. My brain just doesn't work that fast. Um... Yeah, there's no reason for him to stay here. So why don't we send him back home? And I, I'm just going to have him dock and wait there at the headquarters in case I we need him to bring more stuff back. And then for these guys, yeah, all of these guys have dropped their stuff off too. Well, except for this guy hasn't dropped off his turret components yet. So, I think what I want, I'm trying to decide what, I don't necessarily want to send these guys back home because I might need to send them out to get some of the other parts. But having them sit here is not necessarily a safe bet either. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to, for now, have him have them go back too. Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't know if he's doing anything yet or not. The freighter is moving. If we if we go into uh, plan built, is there any? Oh my goodness! Look at that. We already got everything except for hull parts. We're gonna need another twelve hundred ish of those. And the turret components guy hasn't dropped off yet for some reason. Hopefully he will soon. Okay, well, now that we know that, I, I didn't think we were going to be able to get everything. So he, he okay, I know what's going on. He's just waiting for the turret components. I think that's what he's doing. Well, he shouldn't, though, because the dock... The dock doesn't require turret components. You'd think he'd start on that, especially since it's at the top of the list. And it's got everything, at least to get started, if not. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, man. I guess we just wait a little bit and see if it kicks in. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to actually have the freighter go grab us uh, transfer wares with Reaver Industries some more hull parts I thought we needed like 1200 more but let's just have them bring 2000 ish and then bring those back and transfer wares All parts. Yeah, 3416 is what we need. There we go. Okay, confirm. 
Okay, our fleet's in really, really good health. In fact, nobody has lost any hull as far as I can tell at a glance. Yeah, so we're we're just kicking the shit out of the xenon. Okay. Uh I don't think that freighter's undocking. So we're gonna we're gonna have to move it ourselves. Here. Freighter. Teleport. The only thing I can think of is I just got so much stuff in the way that it's maybe confusing the AI and they they know what the hell they're doing. Are you moving, lady? What are you doing? Captain Serene Rainer? Look at our Odysseus down there. That is awesome. Sorry, I'm busy right now. What? Oh, okay, that's usually indicates there's a problem. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Oh, shit. Okay. If I go out of sector, that might fix it. All right. So where is my scout? Before I do this, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do another quick save. Just in case something... Watch the case shows up right when I leave. Something dumb like that. Okay, let's hop out of sector and see if that un you know gets our freighter unstuck there. Entering system. Silent witness. Now we're gonna go watch over here. Okay, now the freighter is moving. A lot more than it was before, anyway. Okay, I think that did the trick. I wonder if the freighter being stuck was also affecting the builder not starting. This other hauler looks like it has also dropped off its turret components. So let's send it back to the headquarters for the moment until and unless we think we need it for something else. So, Builder 1. Let's see what it does here. It's possible that it's starting. Let's go into Plan Build. Yeah, it's starting. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. And if I'm, if I'm reading this right, I mean... Guess we have everything we need and maybe too many energy cells. If that's the case, we'll just you know we'll take the extra enemy uh, enemy energy cells back once this is all said and done. Okay, I think we're in business, guys. I think we are in business. Um, let's head back into sector. Entering system. I take Vaz choice. Freighter's on its way. There it goes. It's coming together. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and dock. Successfully docked. I'm going to actually jump in the let's jump in the dragon in fact you know what I don't think we need to protect the builder I think he's going to be fine I mean he's a big boy he can take some hits if it came to that so I'm going to have you guys defend the rattlesnake 
But I am going to actually fly the dragon myself and see if we can get in on some combat. And I might switch to the katana later too. Dragon. Okay. This thing's a monster. It's a dragon monster. Yeah, I think we... <laughs> I think we got a pretty good defense going here. You know, I mean, we haven't seen a K come through, but even if one does, I'm honestly not worried about it. There's one right here. M. It's so dead. That's just funny, man. An insane amount of firepower. Oh, I just realized something. I did not. All right, hold on. I don't want to be sitting right in front of the gate. I forgot to assign the turrets and shields to the defense discs. All right, let's go here. Yeah, we need to we need to do this. And I already have the loadout. So basically the loadout is all the large ones are argon plasma turrets and all the mediums are argon flak turrets. Uh with the appropriate shields for each one. I th yeah, okay. So confirm loadout changes. And this probably means we're going to need maybe to bring in some more stuff after all. Unless it factored all that in, even though I hadn't assigned it, I don't know. Let's just go through and, and switch them all over. Okay, confirm module changes. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need a lot more stuff. <laughs> I thought that was odd that we were able to fill it up so easily. Um, okay, so I will get my freighters and transporters working on grabbing more of this stuff and yeah and keep working on everything okay so uh and again Striking. i'm perfectly fine with the ai helping us with this too so we'll accept the estimate all right guys well here's what's going to happen i'm going to stay here and just keep Keep on keeping on here. We'll get the freighters and the transporters to bring the additional stuff that we need. And I will, uh, I'll start the next episode when either A, a K comes through the gate, or B, the defense platform is fully online, or at least mostly online. So whichever one of those two things comes first. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sure you're having fun with this. This is awesome. <laughs> um, and yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.